Whoops. We're straight in, we're straight into the bat combat, alright? So this is like XCOM, but, you know, here's a war stick. Bonus action to all friendly units. Oh, okay, so executing. But that does put me in the open, doesn't it? Alright, go for it. Oh, he did. Oh, Jesus. I think you got him, dude. You want to just relax with that chainsaw? <laughs> Christ. Better than heart. It's 50, it's a toy cost. Toin toss. And if I can get the kill, then that means the enemy will be dead dead, and then I won't have to worry about it, and I have to risk an overwatch shot. Take the shot. Go for it. Burbs, and it was a crit. That crit. That was a crit. That was a crit, Burbs, you absolute legend. And Mario, you absolute legend as well. What? How did you- oh, welcome, welcome to XCOM. <laughs> how did you miss? You're right there! Like, look. Look, I don't, I don't know how to zoom in, but look. You're right in front of him. How did you miss? There we go, thank you. Welcome to XCOM, baby. I mean, welcome to Gears Tactics, baby. Good job, thank you. How do I know what's classified? Does it have, like, do not XXX, do not open XX? Yes, that's it. Push everything aside, it could have the data. Of course it's underneath there. I mean, it's a Gears of War game. I mean, I'm not surprised. To read that later. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's like, it's like, it's a Gears of War game. What a surprise. Like, it's so brain dead. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, it's so, like, thick skull. Like, yeah, I totally. As soon as you push one thing aside, you just happen to find it. Of course it is. It was us. This was Ukon. Ukon? Who the fuck is Uka? Uka who? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, woo, gears, tactics. Who the fuck is Ukan? Who the fuck is Ukan? <laughs> you can't just say a name dress up, it's like, boom, Ukan. I'm like, who? <laughs> You can't just you can't just name drop someone like that. Like I'm meant to know who that is. I'm like I don't know. I haven't got a clue. It's not in those names. I can't offer you much. No personnel. No resupply. Hold up. If this grub's as dangerous as you say, I need equipment, soldiers, an army. Oh, you always were resourceful. Mm -hmm. Recruit whatever gears you find. Oh, thanks. Basically, it sounds like go fuck yourself. <laughs> it, the man turns boys into men with his hot pink. What would what be grey and black? Oh, so edgy. Let's have some color. <laughs> Just sort of the cutscene. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Um, which was probably about a few years ago, I remember distinctly because I was streaming Assassin's Creed Syndicate back in the day and I remember distinctly that I was Assassin's Creed Syndicate and I am... Um, I was sitting there playing the game and I hear a knock at the door and I'm thinking, that guy lives on my HP, that's annoying um, and there's a knock, there's a, there's a, there's a the knock at the door and I'm like, hmm, that's odd and then it's a Domino's guy, Domino's yeah. deliverer guy. And I was thinking to myself, that's weird. I thought, I thought, huh. And I, and I, and I went up to the, I said, is this, this is my address? And he, and he asked me, is this my address? And I thought, yes, it is my address. And uh, the guy goes, oh cool, here's your pizza and here's your coke. And I was thinking, okay. Because at this, at this point I was like, sweet, you bring pizza. And I was like, sitting there thinking to myself, I didn't order a pizza, did 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 my parents do it? I was like, I don't know. Maybe they did. Maybe they, maybe they maybe they ordered it, and, and I've um, 
And I've missed, you know, something here. I missed a trick. And so I went into the... Ah, oh, just crushed that guy. Uh, I went in and I was like... Um, to my parents and I went... Hey, so... Random question. Uh, did you guys order a pizza? They went, no. And I was like, well, there was a Domino's guy come to the door and... And he, he um... Said, give me a dress. I was like, did your brother order it? I was like, no. As they said, is Matthew ordered it? And he said, no, Matthew's not here. He's he's gone out for the day. I was like, ah, oh, so we, I guess it's not, not him. I was thinking, and at the end, it was so down with my neighbour, um, who had ordered it, and they would, they called him up, and then Domino's called us up, and they're like, hey, so you've had a pizza delivery? I was like, yeah, was, yeah. It's like. Yeah, can you? And they're like, hey, yeah, can you just deliver it to the to the, uh, this address across the road? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it was just like we had the most random thing. We had to, had to walk a walk of a pizza over. It was the funniest thing. You just be like, hey, so I got a pizza here for you. <laughs> Just like, and they, they were like, "Oh, that's where our pizza is." Reloading. Those gears are lucky. Dad, cops should pick them up. Let's go save a day. Sound of agreement. What a subtitle! The best subtitle of all of, of all games. Sound of agreement. The subtitle of the gods. <laughs> you not rename Oh, that sucks. You can give them mustache. Oh yes, give all the ladies mustaches. <laughs> Here, stay out of trouble, Jack. That guy is just very confused. Okay, the AI is very confused what to do. So I'm just gonna take this opportunity and you know do what I have to because then the AI is gonna move because I think the AI is. Not smart, no. no. The AI is very confused, it doesn't know what to do. So I'm just gonna keep ending my turn. Because he's very confused. So what I'm gonna do, take the opportunity, here's what I'm thinking. If I can heal up everybody, with all my medics. I'm just gonna heal up everybody. Here, heal up. Now, what's on their agenda? Oh, here we go. Here comes the emergency toll. Right here it comes. But they should get. Uh, they should get absolutely. They should get absolutely no word. He fell back down the hole. <laughs> he fell down the fucking. <laughs> he fell back in the hole. That's funny. <laughs> but come on, that's not funny. Wait, okay. Is that it? Or do I have to go straight? Okay, thank God, I haven't got it straight. Oh no, Mara's still invisible. <laughs> Mara's still invisible. I played that really well, actually, if I do say to myself. Mara's still invisible on screen. <laughs> it's fucking funny. A shite. We really need to go. Now it's our turn. Go. Go. I mean, I could take a part shot. Last round. I shouldn't have took that part shot. Oh no. Alright, Mar, I should have took that pot shot. I was being cheeky. That was a cheeky pot shot. I shouldn't have took that pot shot. Now I've got a situation. 
Oh, sorry. Alright, okay, I've, I've, I've got, I can save it, 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 I can save it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, I'll take a cheeky pot shot, and then I couldn't actually make the objective. Okay. Ooh. Let's not, let's not do that again. Let's not be cheeky and be like, oh, I'm going to take a cheeky, cheeky pot shot at one of them as I went, as I go, and then I realized, oh wait, I haven't got enough moves. What is it? Who is it? Is it General Ram? No, it's a Therian, isn't it? Ukon. Therian priest. It's a part of the priests. Why are we not shooting him? We gotta isolate him. No, we don't. Wait. I mean, that works. <laughs> well, that works. I mean, I said it. I literally said it. So why don't we just shoot him? Oh, he's a mole. You know what I said, like, yeah, why don't you just shoot him? It's just like, well. Well, I mean, it would have worked. Brumac. That's a problem. That's a big boy. Multiple attack attacks. Vulnerable to tank come back. Oh, that's good. At least he's got one weakness. He's not completely bullshit. That thing is a big, strong boy. Hey, boy, up to be a big boy. Good. Target neutralized. Excuse me? What did you say? You say good target neutralized. You just steal water and you said that. that is down. Pick up that friendly. Everyone leaves this mission alive. Nope, no they don't. Mars dead. Mars dead. Keep knocking them down. <laughs> <laughs> they just read the subtitles. Burns is literally like the person who said, Keep knocking them down. Okay, Burns has got a secret agenda. <laughs> I will be the the mod, the only mod. I don't think any more enemies are spawning. Oh, there are. Oh, look, there's more enemies. I had to open my big mouth. I literally said, I bet there's no more enemies. <laughs> there's more enemies spawns. I had to open my big mouth. You had to open your big mouth, didn't you, Fox Top? Oh, Deviant Sniper Drone? Long range threat. Pins are disabled your units. Oh, good. That's fun. Yippee. I'm so happy. I am absolutely thrilled. What is that? Oh no. That's tickers. Exploding enemy. We'll move and fire that. Oh good. Another bullshit enemy to fight. Wonderful. What is that? That's a Therian, isn't it? Yep, that's a Therian guard. That's a problem. Not gonna say that's overpowered. That's that. That's not even overpowered. That's just a problem. Therians are scary. A Theron, guard. Be careful. This 
one's smarter than your average grub. And that pork bow's no joke. Where is he? That's a problem. Mara's on the case because she's she's the most nimble. I don't like I don't like this side mission. It's just the thing with the side mission like thing is just, it's 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 just like um Free him from the torture pods. it's just padding. It's what it out. is. I don't know how else to describe it. It's literally just padding, and I don't appreciate padding in my game. Because basically, like, hey, you do every mission, you gotta do three more side missions. I know in Jack Three you have to do three side missions. So it's kind of like they're not really side missions, they're in the mandatory, are they? <laughs> Let me think of this way. They're not side missions, they're mandatory missions, but you say, oh, but you've got the choice of which one you want to do. Ooh, daring today, I know. But it's like, it's padding. It's, it's what it is. It's, 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 it's just padding. And what, why are you telling me that they're, they're side? You know, side means they're optional. Usually in games, I'm missing, I'm missing, I'm missing the point here. Um, but anyway, they're not really, um, you know. Can I get him from here? Nope, didn't work, did it? God damn it, it glitched for half a second. I fucking hate this game. How about we blow him up? Excellent. I mean, why don't we just set grenades and blow him up? We're in kingdom come. That's what I'm saying. Why don't we just do that? Yeah, yes, he's immortal to normal gunfire, but. Oh, um, that kind of works. Just chain swarm. Just what are you waiting for? Just shoot him. Kill him. What are we waiting for? Oh god, I'm getting betrayed. I'm taking Ukon. Stand down. Wait, you you what? I'm getting in this truck and driving away. Oh no, you're not. Stop! God damn you pre God damn you pretty and pink, you betrayed us. And what way is that? The backstabbing lunatic. God damn, pretty and pink, you betrayed us all. God damn you, pretty and pink, you betrayed us. Corpse? Oh, I'm gonna have words about this. Yep. Justice 
things are getting interesting. We had him. Yep, yeah, it's a gold son. God damn it. Are you actually serious? Just like we planned it. Yep, we had him in a corner trapped. Mongol what's in fact types explosive stems raise its shield legs. We had it under control and then he just put the corpse, sir. Buckle up. Shit, even dumber than you look. Oh, okay, and I fell in the hole. I think it's time to do this. Beep. Bye, Gears Tactics. You were shit. <laughs> but I'm just going to go out and say it. This game was shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I liked it. There's bits I like about it, uh, but the rest I'm like, no. I, I I enjoy the game. It's just the problem is I can't I can't sit and play for a, multiple times. If that makes sense. So ignore the fact when I clipped the last time. So this is gonna be a clip. <laughs> ignore the last time I rage deleted it. Ignore that because that didn't happen. It never happened. Never happened. Also, I realized something. It was the reason they added the Jack campaign, the Jackbot, is because people skip the side missions by just ending the mission. Because the reason is what people would do is the following they would just go into the side mission get all the kill all their units by using grenades get recruit new units and then skip it basically they would literally just skip it Like, they would just skip the missions. That's why they added the Jack campaign, because the, the reason being is that way, with Jack, you can't skip the mission, because Jack must survive, because Jack must come on every mission, and he must survive. So here's the rub. It's like, you know, like, you can't do it otherwise. Listen. What? I'm listening. What I'm listening. <laughs> well, it was a... It was a bad call. Okay. I just wanted payback. For all the shit the cogs made me do. Okay. I put you all in danger. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's fucking funny. Oh, we literally just like don't care. Oh, fucking. oh dear. Oh god. Oh, okay, that was so unintentionally funny. No, like the guy's like really spilling his heart out for you, and you're like, ah, oh, cool, that time. <laughs> no, I can't hit it. Here we go. I'm banking on this shot. No. Thank you. Is 
something I can do. I have to end the turn and get next time. I just have to get next time. Watch it! Can't take many hits like that! It's over. Well, as soon as I shoot him once he's over, he's dead. He's dead. Got him. I think that's GG. Ugh, that yellow. It's a piss on my screen. Yuck. Someone shut him up. They'll outlive your ass. That's for sure. Okay. That's it. So what's next, mustache man? You headed off to spill some cog dirt? Been thinking on that. Maybe some secrets are better left buried. I say we leave Prescott to his world and get busy building our own. Doom, doom. Supreme Devastation Bolt, puzzle skill. Wow, you got something you're never gonna use. And this is like, hey guys, would you like to do some side missions? I think I'd rather, no, <laughs> just no. Just no, it's like, hey, you can still do some side missions if you're interested. Almost my nap time. 
Okay. This game just went from... It went from the start of the start of this game for me. I'm going to talk about the ending in a minute. I'll discuss the ending. I'll make a timestamp. Okay, that's a prank. Right, I'll make a timestamp so I can discuss what I thought of the game. That is the end credits. That is GG. I want to just say... The problem with this game was, uh, it started as a 7 out of 10, it started well, then gradually it just lost the points for me, so it's like it went to 7, 6, 5, you know, and let me tell you what I didn't like, well, let me, didn't like. let me tell you what I did like, I, I liked the story somewhat, I like the execution mechanic, thought it was really cool and unique, um, very fit well with the Gears universe. Um, I liked how the armor colors affected in cutscenes, that was cool, it was always nice to see. Um, I, I liked the, all the, some of the mechanic. I liked the Overwatch mechanic, worked quite well. Things I didn't like, doing side missions, they're not side missions, they're not side, you don't do them on the optional side. It's like they're not options, they're just mandatory missions. Like you can pick which one you want to do, but they're not side missions. Didn't like that. It started fine at first doing one side mission. If they'd kept it like you have to do one side mission, you have a list of four missions and you have to pick and choose. That's different. Or maybe even two. Two side missions out of four. That's fine. Excuse me. But doing three missions out of four every two chapters to do a story mission is not good. I didn't like how repetitive it got and you could argue well XCOM gets quite repetitive but the thing with XCOM is by the time you reach the end game and you start to feel like it's getting repetitive uh, you're at the end you know you're, you're close to the end you know you're pushing through for that final battle you know what I mean um, I felt like the but the the mission types are very similar. Like go do this, kill this enemy, do this, do that. There was no uniqueness to it, which kind of sucked. Uh, I didn't like the customization. I did like find it funny you could put beards on ladies, which was quite funny. Good, you know, good representation, you know, and all that because you can some bit some people, you know, that some people might you know want to have a beard on their lady, you know, whatever, to each their own. But the customization itself was a bit piss poor, like. The karma colour's fine, nothing new out of the ordinary there, but just the lack of, um, lack of accessories, you know, to really make your soldier stand out. Uh, I didn't like the fact that you had to hate story characters every mission, because it kind of defies the point of having these side characters. Anyway, they're just disposable, they're just cannon fodder. I mean, yeah, I made them unique, but because, thank God I did, otherwise they would be really boring, you know. I think it was a really boring game without having unique character models. You know, otherwise, if I didn't have my friends play along, like, players uh, design them and play them, you know, that kind of thing, that would be not nearly as fun to play and enjoy than just having some random-ass characters, you know, that you have. Um, what else did I like? I didn't like... Um, the difficulty spikes, the, 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 the power creep was really high. Because I felt like in each mission, they didn't add more difficulty. They just added more soldiers. Like, at the end, there was like 14, open the gate, there's 14 soldiers, and you have two squad. And Jack, who can't attack. But that's beside the point. And you're thinking to yourself, well, but let's assume you can get a kill every go. For two characters, that's still that's a, that's a big ass. Like, imagine you get six kills. That still leaves you eight enemies to kill, and they all get attacked. That's assuming you get all you can get to kill every single one. Like, that's a big ass. Let's say hypothetically, for our average sake, you get two kills with each character. Being generous, right? Um, so that's four kills. 
So there's 14 enemies to kill. There's still 10 enemies on the field to fight. And that's just not right. Like, I get the modification to make it more challenging and make you use your brain. And I'm like, and I get that, but there's a difference between uh, making it something challenging and artificially inflating difficulty. I think there's a difference. Like, on the one hand, artificially inflating difficulty is adding more stuff. Like, adding bigger damage numbers. Like, that's the thing with difficulty. Like, in a normal shooter, an FPS shooter, for example... If you inflate the difficulty artificially, you just add the enemies to get more health, they do more damage to you. Right? Do you guys get what I mean? Like, they wouldn't be think smart, they wouldn't take different tactical routes and, you know, and try to flank you more and make, you know, make them more intelligent. They just make them bigger damage sponges and they do more um, damage to you. Like, at the end of the game, I just felt like it was kind of like going and also the end the final for the final mission before you have to finish um finish the game before you get the last mission to do the final boss fight you know they all each in the go it's like before you do that have some more side missions no they should be optional missions like would you like to do some optional missions and get some extra better gear you could get some better gear you know and make the game, you know, balance that was fine. If you could say, no, I'll skip them and go to the next story mission, then then you'd be like, you'd be like, oh, okay, maybe I should do a few side missions just to sort of help myself a bit. I never think, you know, there's no real good reward for it, like doing side missions. It's just the gear system. Oh, speaking of gear system. <laughs> random gear. You don't get, like, guaranteed loot. You get randomised gear loot from a loot box. Like, you could get the shotgun... Uh, handle you really need for your your scout, or you could get another um, power power winch for your mini well, for your heavy class, and you don't need another one because you've got you, your heavy class has already got one and you only got two. You got three now. You don't need two an extra one, but it's like you get screwed over. You're like, well, too bad. You just have to get going, and there's no way to re re roll it. There's no like there's a re rolling system, you know exchanging it for money or or some like supplies or scrap or something you know or modify it disassemble it reassemble it you know for the scrap and rebuild what you need because to be honest all the gear that you get at the end of the game it's just there you don't even need it like there's no reward for like going for the loot boxes you only go for the best boxes you can see on the field there's no point going for commons common boxes anymore because you don't need the gear. The gear's way beneath you. You've got better gear in your inventory. It's like when you see blue boxes on the field, you're like, why would I go for them mid-game, mid to late game? Do you know what I mean? That's the thing. You don't bother. Because there's no reason to collect them. And if you don't get the right gear, you know, and get, you know, you just get screwed. You just get, it's like too bad. You just have to do, you know... I think this maybe to encourage you to use different soldiers types, you know, use the people with better gear and um, sort of swap them in and out. But I feel like that's not the way to do it. Because if you get like, or if you get lots of scout stuff and then, you, and then the next mission you need to fight snipers, you can't put your low level guys in with crappy gear into the fight. Because they haven't got the gear to, you know, to keep up. The power creeper is insane. And it's all RNG. It's all random. It's not like there's a, there's like, a, like I said, not a re-rolling system. No scrap banking. Nothing. Not even a, an opportunity to buy stuff with scrap or something. Buy new gear. Or have a merchant or something that you could buy gear that you, you know, you could randomly loot. You know, and then the, at least the, everything would have a purpose. Like, for a moment, like, if I go into the end to the end credits, after the end credits, let's get the end credits and see what happens. Oh, okay. I, like, to illustrate my point. Yeah, no, it's more side missions, basically. You just keep going. Like, if I if I show you guys, like all this base f common stuff that you've got, that's probably a bad example. But all the common stuff you get on all your characters, like all this, 
commons, common, common. Like, it doesn't get used. I know some of that's factory standard, but you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't get used up at all. And to top it all off, and, what, and, and finally, the last nail in the coffin for you. And what do you get for beating the game? What is your reward? Well, enjoy more side missions. Fuck that. That is stupid. It's lazy. It's, it's asinine. It's it's pointless. Because if you, you know, what does this do? Eighty percent damage. You know, great, but I don't, I don't particularly care. You know what I mean? There's no, I, don't, I assume there's no new game, new game plus. There's just more side missions. Twenty more smart, more loot missions to complete. Yay! So, if it, my my ending points for this game are: if you really want to play a tactical game, like this kind of style game, play XCOM, play Wasteland Three. And I didn't like Wasteland Three because the end, because I got stuck and I just got in a difficulty spike and I couldn't win. I'd rather play Wasteland Three because there is more customization, more characters, you know, a better story. XCOM. If you've already played XCOM, here's the thing. If you've already played XCOM, I'd play Wasteland 3. I'd give that a go, because you think you'll really enjoy it. If you don't like Wasteland, if you've already played Wasteland 3, then I'd recommend XCOM. Go one or the other. If you've already played both, play through them again. Put some mods on. Go on the PC, if you're on the PC, obviously, if you're not on the PC, this is a lot more difficult. But if you're on the PC, go go put some mods on. Play, 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 play Long War, play... You know, add some stuff to it. You know, that will be so much more. You'll have so much more fun. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do this. So just bear with me. I'm uninstalling it racially. I fear it. I've completed it. I'm not never touching it again. Nope. Didn't like it. You get a favorite review? Place a review? It's bad. I'm going to put this. By XCOM. Instead, it's bad. <laughs> Is only four. The Bad. There you go. Like, I can only say, I can only recommend this game. Oh. I can only recommend this game if you're a hardcore Gears of War fan. That's literally the only recommendation I can give you for this game. If you want to play this game, oh, please seek some help. Think to yourself, is this really, do I really need to watch players? If you watch it on YouTube and you love the gameplay bloop and you love the look of it then by all means pick it up but you can easily just watch it just on youtube 
That's my recommendation. You can watch my highlights. <laughs> watch my highlight video, which you're probably watching right now. If you're watching this on the highlight video, it's going to be very weird. But, you know, you should watch my highlights on it instead. Because you'll get just as much enjoyment as I did. Well, you'll probably get more enjoyment than I did. You know, that's the key. <laughs>